For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says if the spring that goes from point D to point B has an unstretched length of 2 meters, find the stiffness K. So find this stiffness of the spring that would uh, hold the 40 kilogram crate in the position shown. So we know that the force developed by the spring is equal to S minus S naught times the constant K. Now we know S to be able to find S, we gotta find the distance from D to B and we have a right triangle right here we have this right triangle has a height 2 and a length 3 the 2 I got from here, the 3 I got from here, I'm talking about this triangle right here so to find this distance S I gotta use the Pythagorean theorem so that will be 2 squared plus 3 squared so S is equal to 3 0.61 meters and they're telling us that the unstretched length S0 is equal to 2 meters therefore the force of the spring is equal to 3.61 minus 2 times K which is 1.61 times K now that we have that which is this force right here F by this spring we gotta find this force right here, dA, and this force dA is obviously the force being created by the weight of the crate. The weight of the crate is equal to its mass in kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81, so the weight is given by the mass times the acceleration of gravity. The mass is 40 kilograms. The acceleration of gravity is 9.81 meters per second square. So the weight comes out to be 392.4 newtons. Now, you know that this angle right here, let's call it theta. To find theta, you do the tangent inverse of the opposite over the adjacent of the triangle, the opposite of 2, the adjacent is 2. And since it's the tangent inverse of 1, it comes out to be exactly 45 degrees. And let's find this angle right here. To find this angle, you do the tangent, again, the tangent inverse of the opposite, which is 2, over the adjacent, which is 3 and it comes out to be 33.7 degrees I like working with angles more than ratios so that's just a matter of taste now that we found these two angles we have all the tools that we need we're gonna do the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero so you have this force um, CD going this way you have the force of the spring going to the right and up and we have the weight going straight down here at this ring D so we're working with the free body diagram of the ring D so the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero and going to the left you got the force CD times the sine of 45 the sine of theta which is sine of 45 that's assuming this orientation of course assuming the positive x goes to the right and the positive y goes up so going to the left we got minus cd times the sine of 45 I'm sorry it's not the sine it's the cosine of 45 but cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the same cosine of 45 plus the force of the spring times the cosine of the other angle which is 33.7 degrees and that is equal to zero so you basically get that the force of CD is equal to the force of the spring times the cosine of 33.7 over the cosine of 45 so you get that the force CD is equal to 1.89 K how did I do that I plug in this 1.61 
and replace it for a spring and I basically got the force CD, this force right here in terms of K, the stiffness of the spring. This is going to be, let's call it one of our formulas. Now hopefully you've been taking notes because I can turn the page. And last, to finish the problem we're going to do the sum of the forces in the Y direction is equal to zero. So FCD going up times the sine of 45 plus the force of the spring times the sine of 33.7 degrees minus the weight that's going straight down is equal to zero. So 1.89 K which is what we just found before, I called it equation one times the sine of 45 plus the force of the spring which we knew from before is 1.61 K times the sine of 33.7 degrees minus the weight which we found at 392.4 is equal to zero. As you can see we have one equation, one variable which is K so all you gotta do is just multiply everything and solve for k. And you're gonna get that k is equal to 176 newtons per meter. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.